beautiful out. This is my type of weather, guys. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this. Here we have the old public school from uh, the 1900s. Styled in the uh, Tudor style architecture. Looks brilliant in the fog. Looks beautiful in the fog. Really beautiful. As does the town. Guys, here we have some preserved Dutch colonial homes. Uh, maybe not these. These are a little older. Uh, the one, the older ones are down the street. Um, these might be a little bit newer than uh, Dutch colonial. Uh, but there are many buildings here that are from the 1600s. Uh, I don't think these are uh, any of them. But uh, they're old nonetheless. Beautiful colonial style homes and uh, you can hear the church bell in the distance look at the school guys you can't even see it anymore the church bell is ringing it's about uh, 9 30 it's about 10 o'clock at night Awesome. Here we have an old courthouse, guys. Courthouse and jail. The jail is in the back. It was a Staten Island jail. And uh, it was connected to the courthouse. So it's both a courthouse and a jail. We're going to step back and get a good look at it. Uh, they decorated this place for Christmas. It's beautiful. Lots of stuff hanging from the trees. Normally, you don't see this stuff at historic Richmond Town, obviously. It's Christmas decor. There's a look at the courthouse, guys. It was actually in use until the 1950s. Sometime be, uh, during the 1950s, the courthouse stopped operating. And soon enough, this whole area became a landmark district. Here we have a general store. Fine groceries and provisions. Wow. Look at that, guys. The courthouse, you can barely see it. You can barely see it. I'm, what, 150 feet away? Not even. Here we have another preserved home. Now, this here, guys, used to be a kind of bed and breakfast sort of thing, a hotel and cafe. And it's still a cafe. It actually just opened under a new name. The building is ancient. And uh, you can come here for some desserts. I think they offer savory items on the menu and... Uh, It's now called Main Street Coffee. Very old colonial building. Very small inside, beautiful. A lot of old homes here, guys, as you can see. Uh, I believe this is one of the largest preserved Dutch colonial uh, towns in the country. There's a lot of old homes here, guys. Some of the areas aren't too lit well. They're not well lit, so I can't really venture into this area here. Uh, I'm going to try this place. I'm going to try the cemetery. Here we have the Gion Inn and Store. This was the, this was, I believe, a pub. Uh, Gion is a French name. A lot of French uh, settlers involved here on Staten Island, uh, which uh, 
not many people know about. Here's that. Here's the old house again. Big, big mansion. Oh, look at that fog. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, every Christmas they reopen everything. They do tours. They just finished doing candlelight tours. Uh, this place was open. They were playing live music in there. Serving uh, beer, bread, pumpkin soup. They do a very well job. They do a very good job of preserving this town. I have tremendous respect for the people who uh, fund this place and keep it from crumbling. Got another house here. Uh, every house is labeled. I'm going to try to cross the street and see uh, what this uh, sign says. I know that that house there is the treasure house. Right there in the middle. I believe it was a treasure house during the war where soldiers kept their coins. This here is the... Bohm House, 1750. And just ahead, guys, is the oldest public school in the entire country of the United States. Again, guys, sorry, I don't have my gimbal. I will do a proper tour of this town in the daytime so you can see everything. Uh, but this here is the oldest schoolhouse in America, guys. That's still standing. And the sign is gone. Well, that sucks. The sign, there was a sign here that uh, is no longer here, but. Uh, um, I'm sure it's called the Vore Leisure House. Guys, there's so much more to this town. Like I said, I'll be back in the day. I'm going to do a proper tour of the place. You got the corn mill over there. There's so much over there. You can't see anything. It's dark, foggy. But what's well lit is this beautiful graveyard, guys. Look at this old church, St. Andrew's Church. It's been around since the... This one's one of the old ones. I don't know the exact year. Maybe we'll find out. St. Andrew's Church, 300 years of worship. 1708, we found out, guys. Read this sign if you want. Pause the video here, give it a read. I read it a million times. Nice trees up for Christmas. And here, here we have the church, guys. Romanesque architecture, field stone, made of field stone. If you want to read this sign, 1776. Big, big firefight took place on this spot, guys, during the Revolutionary War. This is also the family burial plot of St. Elizabeth Bailey Seaton. Here are the beautiful doors on the church. And if you want to read the plaque, a little tough to make out, stalk out. There it is. Give it give the video a pause. Here is a pet cemetery along with the old cemetery. A lot of New York's prominent citizens are buried here. Politicians and beautiful. And this here is the museum. Uh, the building, I, I'm not sure if this building served as something else in the past. It's the museum now. There's a lot of artifacts in there. Um, and uh, 
you can visit this place during weekends. Here we have an old horse stop, guys, where people would tether their horses. And they would chain them up on the post. There are also basins scattered throughout where the horses would drink. This here is an ice cream parlor, but it's a new building. This building was built for the television series Boardwalk Empire. It was, uh, it was a prop for the show. It was a diner where the gangsters used to meet. Now, it's an actual ice cream shop. It's an Agra's ice cream shop. And uh, they're closed for the winter. They open every spring. Um, and they wound up keeping this building, even though it was just part of a movie set. And here we have the job printing. Uh, this is the building where they would print newspapers. There is a press inside that still works. And they still use it. That there is the carpenter's house. Behind it is uh, something else. I got to come back here in a day, guys. Well, guys, I hope, uh, hope you enjoyed this little tour. I think we're done. I, there's a lot more to this town. And so I'm going to come back in a day, but I got what I got in the fog. You got to get it in the fog, man. Uh, most of the, luckily, a lot of this place is well lit enough. So, uh, yeah, if you're in Staten Island, come to historic Richmond town. There's a lot more to this place. I didn't cover nothing yet. So you're going to see this. You're going to see another, another vlog. In the near future, I'll come back in a day. Old, old, old town, guys. I mean, this place, original spot. A lot of these buildings are at their original spots. Some were shipped here. But uh, it's a beautiful town. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.